video rendering out and it's not even mine. How do I do it? Okay guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how I get my clients and how do I, how do I make money. Um, what shirt am I wearing? I really don't like this shirt, hold on. <laughs> That's a little better. So, um, basically, as some of you may know if you follow me on Twitter, I actually edit people's YouTube videos, which is what this, this is right here. It's not my video. So, I'm basically just gonna go over three tips on how you can get clients and basically how to keep those clients coming back. So, I just wanted to start off by saying, like, don't expect to just get clients by following these tips, like, right away. It doesn't always work obviously like not everything is you know 100% sure fire but these are just some things that I have realized that have helped me and I wanted to just share some tips with you guys so for those of you guys who want to know a little bit more about what I do I basically edit people's videos um, it's pretty straightforward but what happens is basically they send me all the footage for the video and I put it together edit it put my own little spin on it and then send it to them as fast as possible and so yeah, basically they rely on me to edit their content and cut out all the parts that are unnecessary and keep in all the parts that are necessary while still keeping the video entertaining and able to keep people's attention. And honestly, the way I really got into it was just by, you know, hearing my friends need help editing a video and I was like, I can help you, like I can do it. If you're busy, I can do it. So that's tip number one, really just look for people who like, hello? To the no, to the no, 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 no. Okay, so back to what I was saying. If your friends need help editing, like even if it's just like a portion of their video, do it for them because if they know that you can, you have like the capacity to do it, they might have friends that need videos edited and they'll be like, hey, so and so edited this part of my video, you know, give them a little, you know, ring a ding ding and they can help you. So yeah, start small, you know, start in your inner circle and then work your way out. That's like the best way to do pretty much anything. Like start small and then expand. The second tip that I'm gonna give you is to use your social media to reach out to people. This is the number one way that I obtain clients. Whether it's just tweeting them on Twitter, finding their business email, whatever it is, I get in contact with the people that I want to edit with. And I'm not saying like tweet them 30 million times because nobody, and I mean literally nobody, is going to give you the light of day if you're just annoying and you're spamming them. Like nobody wants 3 million tweets from you in their notifications telling them that you want to work with them no matter who you are. For example, this is a tweet that I tweeted to Center and literally the next day I got a response and that exact day that I got the response, I ended up doing something for him. Just remember, it's gonna take a while for you to get a response. Like, you're not gonna get it immediately most of the time. But yeah, whether it's DMing someone on Instagram, commenting on their Instagram post, um, tweeting them, I wouldn't say use the YouTube comment section because I don't know how, like, helpful that could be. Personally, I check my comment section and like, like, and I'm pretty active with like, the people in my comment section, but I don't know if that's for everyone. Like, maybe some YouTubers that are bigger won't really read as many comments and it's like the luck of the draw if you even get seen but that could be said with anything like I said they're not always gonna respond and it might take you know a little while to get a response if you do use your social media platform to reach out to people and the third thing that you can do and I think I've only gotten like one client off of them if you have a website advertise your website Use the advertisements on Instagram and whatnot to advertise your website and your work. For the most part, if you're watching this video, you're probably like a smaller video editor who doesn't really have a lot of experience working with a lot of people. What I recommend you doing is setting up a portfolio and putting some of the videos that you edited inside of the portfolio and just sharing it around Twitter, getting people to retweet, like, putting it in your Instagram bio, your Twitter bio, and just promoting, like, take a look at my portfolio and whatever. Mainly, I use my portfolio for photography and I've also gotten some photography stuff out of that too but I'm pretty sure I have gotten one client out of using my portfolio to grab people's attention so 
So basically every time you, you know, make new content and whatever that you've edited, add it to the portfolio and then tweet out and promote on Instagram. Check this out. I just added something brand new to my portfolio and it would mean a lot for you guys to go check it out. It would mean just the world to me. Just say something simple like that. And you never know, people might, you know, look at it and be like, you know what, maybe I want to check this person out. But yeah, those are three tips for you guys from me to start off your editing business. Um, if you do use any of these tips and you are successful, please leave it down in the comment section, not only for me, but for other people who are watching this video. And also guys, don't forget to leave a like because it shows that you guys are actually really interested in these types of informative videos. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be uploading every other day for the rest of my life, hopefully. Well, that's really stressful because if I... Wow. Um, that's probably a lie. I'm gonna be uploading though. Just keep that in mind, okay? Also, if you guys would like to follow me on some of my other social medias, my Twitter and Instagram will be on the screen right now. It's at JujuFamija, so it would mean a lot to me if you want to follow me on there and whatnot. Also, if you would like to get in touch with me, my DMs are open. I suggest reaching out to me on Twitter because I'm super active on Twitter. I'm pretty much on there every single day, and it's the best way to reach out to me and get some more information about video editing, photography, or just if you want to talk, I'm there to talk. This video is done rendering, so I have to send it out to a client right now, and this video is pretty much over. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said before, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, muchachos.